a the next game is the biggest but in reality Leicester on Saturday or Leicester on Tuesday with the with the race for the top four now so very tight defeat or a draw obviously on Tuesday could let Liverpool in the back door so which is more important do you think these two games? Say I can absolutely not judge it because uh, this is uh, these are two finals and we don't think about anything else than the two finals. It's a final for cup and it's a final for top four for us. It's uh, clear we missed a chance uh, against uh, Arsenal to be decisive, uh, to have a decisive advantage. So now we have to cope with it and uh, first of all show the reaction in, in Wembley to have the upper hand on, on, on Tuesday again. This is. This is what we're up for. Yes, like you say, a, a good performance and, and victory in the first game would, would give you an advantage mentally going into the second game. Yeah, it's 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 like this with any game. Every win gives you a if gives you a good feeling, and any win gives you a, a, a momentum that you that you that you work hard for. So this is this is pretty much always the same. It's a bit curious that we played. <laughs> Two, our two finals against the same team and it will be very very uh, tough and, and complicated and, and, and difficult but we feel ready for it whole, whole group is uh, available Kova is uh, with us again and so it's, it's the moment to, to, to step up and uh, enjoy on the highest level and by enjoying we mean hard work and, and suffer and, and uh, help each other out on the pitch this is what we do now tomorrow and on Tuesday Good news about uh, the team news. And um, Kepler has started every round of the FA Cup. Yeah. Will he start the final? Yeah, for sure. No changes there. That's just all the way you've always planned it. That's the way it is. If if you have a, a goalkeeper for this competition, like we had with Kepa, you 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 don't change. Uh, in, in the final, he is a part of the group. He's his. Uh, it's his. Uh, he brought us to the final, so he deserves to play the final. Last one, Gary. Yeah, last one. Thank you. Uh, looking forward to the perhaps an even bigger game than the two you've got coming up. The big Champions League final. It's going to be in Porto. Your reaction to that? I'm happy to go to Porto. I'm happy to go to a final. That's uh, pretty much the, the, the easy answer. I, I would go anywhere to play a, a Champions League final as a, as a participant. So, But right now, the bigger challenge is to forget the, the Champions League final and be fully focused on our two finals that are ahead of us. We, we cannot lose one percentage of, of concentration and focus. We did this the last game against Arsenal and uh, we got punished for it. So, um, lesson learned and... Um, well accepted. Uh, the only thing on our mind is actually the game at Wembley and we're happy to arrive today in the evening there and to prepare ourselves in a, in a calm and focused way. John Southall, Bud Light. Unmute yourself, John. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, on Kappa, how close a call is it now between your two goalkeepers to be the number one? Nothing has changed uh, because uh, Edu was number one when I when I came in. There was no need to change. Kepa is a fantastic guy, and Edu, Edu is, is uh, as well a fantastic guy, and both did uh, their job in a, on an excellent level and in very impressive way. So nothing has changed. Edu is the number one, and and uh, Kepa is a strong, strong goalkeeper, which we are very happy to have in the squad. And tomorrow is the next the next uh, challenge for him to show. And for you, what will it? What kind of emotions will you be going through tomorrow when you leave your side out uh, at Wembley in an FA Cup final? Can you allow yourself to to enjoy it? I'm not yet in the mood to enjoy it. I um, um, still have a bit of a hangover from from last from last defeat. So a hangover from last defeat. It's always like this. So I'm a bit of more of an angry, of a, in an angry uh, mode uh, when we will arrive in the in the. In the, in the hotel and, and tomorrow, which, which is good because I'm not angry on myself or at the players just because of the, the result and the opportunity we missed and I will uh, hopefully transform it into a good preparation and, and to put to the team, uh, to, put the team to, to the edge, push them to the edge and, and let them play sharp. This is my responsibility and uh, we have to, we, we absolutely, we have to show a reaction, we want to show a reaction. And uh, this is it. It's a it's a big match. It's um, 
it's uh, at Wembley is the FA Cup final my first final here in in England is huge but I will not get carried away with emotions tomorrow I'm fully focused to prepare my team better like we did uh, two days ago is that good that you're angry and the players are probably angry as well did yeah. that defeat against Arsenal maybe give you all a bit of a Kick the well, I do, yeah, it clearly did, and it's a good thing. It's a very easy preparation because I think we all feel that kind of anger on ourselves and and on the missed opportunity and on the performance that that night against Arsenal. So it's a good thing. It's easy to to prepare, and now we have we have uh, the challenges to to focus to focus on only this match, to focus on us and and play on the edge, and we will do this in terms of uh, we will try this to in terms of of quality. We need our best game. Leicester is a super strong side. They deserve to be in the final. And, and two days later, we play. Uh, we compete with them for, for, for top four. So it's highest level. And, and uh, we need a top performance. It's absolutely clear. You said Matteo, yeah, Matteo Kovacic is back. So yeah. how important is, is that to you? Because he's, he's a real influence for you, isn't he? Well, it's huge because Matteo has, has everything what we need in, in midfield. He has experience, he has power, he has uh, the acceleration, deceleration. He can uh, dribble the ball, beat players, he's fast. He's the physical ability and he's experienced in big games and in Premier League. You could see that uh, when we miss Matteo and, and N'Golo in the same match, uh, we miss, we miss uh, a lot of, we lack a lot of quality. Uh, and and energy and experience. Billy did a did a huge job in in both games now, but but still it's it's not fair to compare him to the same to the same uh, uh, to to these players because they have more experience and they are they are in their development uh, a step ahead. So this is what we absolutely need in 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 the in the key moments of the season at the end of the season. It's a, it's a, it's big news for us that Kova is back because he's a huge impact in the dressing room also around big matches and a very positive guy so it's good news James at TalkSport Thomas you've managed in a number of finals you've won some you've lost a few yeah. what is different about a final and, and what is the key to being successful in one well you're so close you're so close and uh, you're so close and then both teams are so close and then and, and the hunger the hunger increases and increases. The desire, once you arrive in the final, you 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 build yourself the pressure. It's not even like like you guys put the pressure on us, no. But but yourself, you don't feel so close when you start a cup uh, um, a cup competition in the first and second round. You know it's going to be tough, and you know where you want to go. But it, it's not the same tension that builds up inside of you and uh, because you are so close the cup will be there you know you can it is, this is the last match and and you never know when it's possible again you know uh, to arrive again this is sometimes unique opportunities and that that builds the circumstances that which are unique and you can feel this in the in the preparation in the training today in the approach to the match in the in the concentration level it is it is different to to be in a final and it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's the best thing. It's the best thing to have on on high level sport. It brings out the very best in you, and and we have to cope with it. And we want to absolutely cope with it. It's a, it's a, it's a big gift to have it. And hopefully, uh, we we can show we can show our best performance tomorrow. And how excited are you about managing in front of the Chelsea fans for the mm. first time as manager and being close to those supporters who? <laughs> been so far away for so long yeah it's, it's unbelievable I, ju I just forgot it until you asked uh, that there are spectators tomorrow i got so used to not having spectators semi-final was without spectators for us not for for southampton and leicester so yeah uh, will be a shock <laughs> will be a shock tomorrow to go on the pitch and hear some noise but it will be so so nice we are absolutely looking forward to that the, the game is not the same without spectators and it's a uh, it's pure pleasure to to arrive tomorrow and see see our fans there, see parts of our families. I think it's a huge boost for everybody. And for you personally, how important would it be to lift a trophy within just a few months of becoming the Chelsea manager? If you ask me this question, hopefully in four years' time, on the same on the same place, I will I will tell you the same. It's then then it's it has the same importance because once you arrive in a final. You arrive with Chelsea, you, you want to win the final, nothing else. Uh